It's an honor that only a handful of people are even nominated for, let alone win. Just over an hour ago, we learned that three winners will split the Nobel Peace Prize this year, a Belarusian activist and two international humanitarian groups. But one of our own was among the nominees, quite a prestigious honor, the grandmother of Juneteenth herself, Opal Lee. Our Tashara Parker was with Fort Worth's own Miss Lee when she found out. She is with us live this morning. What a celebration today, Tashara. Oh, Mark, yeah, certainly a celebration this morning, and the crowd is still gathered here in downtown Fort Worth at the Paris Coffee Shop. I tell you what, a lot of us have been here since about 2 o'clock this morning, and folks are just happy to be here celebrating with Miss Opal Lee on this day. Now, look, I won't bury the lead in this situation. You can see Miss Opal Lee over my shoulder just enjoying a little bit of breakfast here this morning. I won't bury the lead. She did not win the Nobel Peace Prize, as you just heard Mark mention uh, earlier in this hit, but she is still celebrating because it is her 90th. 96th birthday and we're all here to celebrate with her. So I want to show you some of that video from earlier as the crowds gathered here. Of course, the media frenzy, everyone in the place, her family and friends here to support her and show her that she is indeed a winner because of what she has done for decades from walking miles to bring attention to the importance of Juneteenth to it finally being recognized as a federal holiday. Juneteenth, by the way, the day recognizing when the last group of enslaved people learned they were free. So while the grandmother of Juneteenth, one of our very own as Mark alluded to early on, did not win. You better believe she had a lot to say about the work that still needs to be done around here. Also mentioning how, in her words, a little old lady's voice was heard around the world. I want them to understand just because there's a setback in their life, they're not to give up. You got to keep going and nothing's gonna be smooth and easy all the time, you're going to find bumps in the road. You're going to fall. You got to get up and keep moving. And speaking of continuing on and continuing to move, Ms. Opal is going to be doing just that this weekend with the day of service. And that is something that we can all take part in. I'll tell you more details about that next time around. But for now, we're going to continue celebrating with Ms. Opal Lee on her 96th birthday. Again, that day of service. We'll talk about it a little later. Kara, back inside to you.